Hey guys, it's your final expense coach, Sean Fogelson again, report from the Carolinas, here to teach you agents tips, techniques, strategies, dealing with the final expense market. If you're new watching this video, please consider subscribing to our channel below. Uh, but let's dive into some of these challenges that agents face within this final expense market. And today I want to train on the assumptive sale. Now, the assumptive sale is something that every agent needs to be doing and a lot of agents who are new in this business seem to be a little gun shy about doing this. Uh, when you're in the house, you're pre-qualifying your client, we just you know showed the client some coverages, you know, five, a ten thousand, a fifteen, and a twenty thousand dollar coverage. At this point, after your client says, Hey Sean, I think the fifteen thousand dollars is which one I'd like to get. At this point in time, you know, you're gonna go straight into the application and start filling it out. You know, sometimes asking too many questions can lead you into the direction of not making a sale. So, you know, just start filling out the application. What's your middle initial, Ms. Johnson? You know, uh, I need your driver's license. Can I look over that information real quick? Start plugging that in the app and make the client stop you. I can't tell you how many times I've, uh, you know, I've done this. And, you know, in this business, a lot of our clients are reluctant. Uh, when it comes to life insurance, uh, procrastination is a huge factor in this business, especially dealing with our clients. And sometimes you have to walk your client, uh, you know, and walk them through this. You know, you're a true professional. You know, it's like any doctor you go to, you got sick, you went to the, you know, whether it was the ER or whatever, your, your primary physician. And, you know, they take a look at you. Maybe you're sick. Maybe they prescribe you uh, penicillin or some other medication. They tell you to take it a couple days, a couple times per day. Well, you know, you're not going to tell that doctor that, no, I'm not going to do this. You went to that doctor to get that help. So I look at myself as a true professional and an agent when I'm in the homes that my job is to diagnose these clients and to necessarily find a plan that is going to suit them and their families. So, you know, when I'm in the house and I finally, they pick the coverage, I'm, I'm, I'm literally grabbing the app and I'm just starting filling it away. And you know, with a lot of your clients that when you do this, you're going to see your sales go up tremendously. And you're going to see a lot of your clients at the end of these, these sales, shake your hand, give you a hug and, and really thank you for necessarily making sure that you came by their house that day and got their family protected. You know, sometimes you got to push these clients. I'm not saying being aggressive, but you know, you know, these people, you know, some of our clients are on fixed income, you know, they haven't made all, all the best decisions in their, in their lives. And, uh, you know, it's our job to make sure we point them in the right direction. So for all you agents out there that want to increase your business, you need to do the assumptive sale, start filling out the application, have the client stop you. And you'll start realizing a lot of your clients, you know, you're, you're asking these questions while you're going through it. They're just giving you the, they're giving you everything you need. And, uh, you know, I always, at the very end, uh, that's the last thing that I ask for when I'm uh, asking is for their checking information. Hey, Ms. Johnson, we're about to do this phone interview. Right before we do this phone interview, uh, you know, they're going to ask you all the same health questions as I did before when we were pre-qualifying you. But right, one thing I need real quick is if you can, Ms. Johnson, just gra uh, get up real quick and grab me that voided check out of your pocketbook. And, uh, you know, the way I say, it, you know, I, I don't get nervous. You know, a lot of my clients, if you act nervous asking these questions, your clients will get nervous. So just be really calm and just confident. And, uh, you know, that's part of the, that's part of the routine and the protocol of selling these policies. So just just act like it's nothing because it isn't nothing. It's part of your job. Uh, but I really hope a lot of this information was useful for you. Uh, you know, if you liked what you saw, give the, give our video a thumbs up and, uh, you know, better yet, please consider subscribing to our channel. A lot more great videos coming out and, uh, you know, stay tuned.